Good morning, crew. Hope you're doing well. This is raw vlog number 14. Raw vlogs are recorded live in front of a steering wheel on my way to getting my Friday morning coffee, delivered straight from the camera to you, unedited and raw. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about, uh, I guess broadly, why I mountain bike. Um, what keeps me coming back? What do I get out of it? Um, quick note, I've moved the camera because I know um, a couple of people have um, not liked when I've turned left up here in a little bit and we've gotten a bunch of sun in the lens, so I've moved it so that hopefully we won't get those bright flashes. Um, hopefully the audio is still okay. Um, I don't really have any channel updates. Uh, I can give you my wellness update, I guess, which is this week has been a little bit rough in terms of this guy. Um, I have a little bit of new artwork. I've got eyes to see you. Thanks, Matt Palmer. Um, Palmer, maybe that's why I put him there. Anyway, um, yeah, this week has been a little bit tough in terms of sleep. I am really low on sleep. Uh, the, the arm, the cast has been keeping me awake. I think also the lack of stress relief that mountain biking normally brings to me, I have, uh, yeah, that has really caused me some issues, I think, too. So trying to find other ways to relax. Um, but this is why I've been thinking about what do I get out of mountain biking? Why do I mountain bike? And yeah some of it is just really about getting outside about being out in nature i guess but just generally outside activity you know when i was a kid i was always outside either riding bikes or climbing trees or you know whatever um running around in the hills behind my house i grew up in tennessee and uh we were in a a residential area that was near to some rural areas so it was really easy for me to just go out the back door jump over a barbed wire fence and then just be in the woods and I'd be running around out there throwing sticks and uh, shooting 22s and just hanging out out there I would even just sometimes throw a couple of can of beans in a backpack and take a sleeping bag out there and set up fire in a dry creek bed and just spend the night on a whim. So, you know, as I got older, it was nice to find ways to be outside. I've talked a lot about, um, or I've talked before about how I got into skateboarding and really enjoyed a lot of aspects of skateboarding, which we'll kind of get into a little bit later here. But the one thing that skateboarding was kind of missing for me was that um, being out in the woods aspect so that's always really important to me um, and another thing that mountain bike brings to me uh, mountain biking brings to me that the same that uh, skateboarding brought to me was working on skills and progression physical skills athletic skills and progressing those skills and everything that goes into that uh, and that really just kind of encapsulate a, a lot of the other things I'm going to be talking about um, so the another thing is that danger aspect about being able to take something that is dangerous maybe when you're first doing it or at least you're having to risk uh, injury but some of that is due to the lack of skill and you, you have to you have to ride the edge of your skill in order to progress that skill or get more skills and then that which was once dangerous or at least scary maybe I guess maybe those are the kind of the same thing that's its whole other conversation but anyway can you tell I'm like a little discombobulated right now due to lack of sleep um, in any case using skill or uh, you know acquiring skills in a way that converts your what was scary and dangerous into something that's just normal I, I know that there are you know features and parts of trails that used to intimidate me and that I would be scared of and now they're just fun so like yeah not even from dangerous to safe but from dangerous and scary to to fun um, yeah 
And I think that, you know, that aspect, that fun aspect is, is really important to the, the laughter, the smiling, the, the um, you know, like you see a lot of fist bumps in my videos and um, I don't ever like force or stage those. It just feels really good because, you know, and those, that's the result of a shared experience going down the trail with somebody else experiencing that fun all those things that you you share with each other of um, working through progression some you know writing something that you all used to be scared of and that now you really enjoy uh, writing sharing that and then coming through that so that kind of a shared experience um, I think all that kind of comes together and, and then that really just brings me back and and gives me that stoke and that's why it can be tough to be off the bike um, it's probably obvious but you're not getting as much of that so I'm not getting as much of that these days um, I'm doing it through like reviewing video and whatnot and I, I guess really this last these last couple of weeks on these raw vlogs I guess I've been kind of flirting with danger by some of the subject matter I've talked about. Um, I know I've gotten some strong reactions. So I guess I just, I never really feel totally right if I haven't done some dangerous stuff, you know, if I haven't risk, risked injury and, and pushed progression, taken myself to those edges. Um, and you know, when I'm, injured when I'm off the bike I don't really I can't really do that because I don't want obviously I don't want to re-injure this thing so yeah I guess the closest thing has been to really push myself in training get myself to uncomfortable places and then trying to stay there it's not the same as experiencing the fear and danger of like hitting a new feature or trying a new movement but um it is well some stuff going on over here but it's um it's it's at least dealing with discomfort and and getting into that stuff that we talked about last week about preparing for getting back on the bike um yeah there's another piece of thing I wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, no, I'll save that for later. I think another aspect of mountain biking that I really enjoy is that discomfort, right? Um, I don't experience it as much at the bike park, uh, but that kind of grind, that, uh, that kind of discomfort and pain of having to climb up uh, a hard climb I was just watching some footage from from being in Laguna uh, with Kelly and you know those climbs aren't terrible but they're climbs and I th I don't know I don't know really when it happened it might have happened when I started training CrossFit but at a certain point, I started to, I don't actually want to use the word enjoy, but I'm going to say enjoy. It's not exactly enjoy, but I started to enjoy the, the, that gnarly discomfort of forcing myself to climb up something or do something physically hard. Um, yeah, um, not sure when that switch got flicked but when it did I think it really affected just how I approach life in general I you know before that period of my life I, I didn't always gravitate towards doing hard things I guess I would gravitate towards doing things the hard way which is different than doing hard things but um, yeah. Uh, I don't know really what else to say. Um, I wasn't really able to prepare a whole bunch uh, more than that. Well, what I mean is, is 
I've been thinking about, you know, what what do I really like about mountain biking and what brings me back, but I hadn't really taken the notes and thought about it as much as I normally do on these things because my brain has not been functioning at full, at optimal levels. So yeah, that's raw vlog number 14. I hope you dug it. I know it was pretty rambly and I don't even really remember half of what I said right now because I'm still waking up. But if you dug it, hit the like button. If you didn't so much dig it, hit the comment button and let me know why. And if you want to continue getting videos from the MTB Allen channel, hit that subscribe button. See you around.